Most performances at the Sheldon Concert Hall don't begin with the singing of the national anthem. But this is not your typical concert. Arts and Faith St. Louis brings people of many faiths and cultures to the Sheldon stage. The annual interfaith concert is a show of unity, a remembrance of a time of conflict and division. For the past decade, around the date of 9-11, choruses from a variety of faith groups and professional soloists perform in this free commemorative concert. It's always been a packed house. But this year, the 20th anniversary of 9-11, opera star Christine Brewer and the Interfaith Youth Chorus performed to a production crew because of COVID precautions. Amazing Grace. Two of the performances are new. Brewer sings Amazing Grace, but it's not the one we're all familiar with. This version is a new song by African-American composer H. Leslie Adams. I love this piece because it talks about how we can fill our lives with joy through the power of song. The Interfaith Youth Chorus presents a new song in this year's concert and sang it fully masked. The song is called Begin by Matt Carlson and the composer um, created this song during the pandemic um, and it was created to to let the students who are singing the song understand that we really need each other. And I think we really realized at that time how much we miss human interaction and being with other people. The students in the Interfaith Youth Chorus are from 15 different high schools in the St. Louis area. For them, the chance to sing together again was priceless. Especially like um, when this coronavirus hit, a lot of us lost the opportunity to actually come together and sing with one another. I would honestly have to say it's a blessing because you get, you get to perform with, with like-minded people that love this just as much as you do. Being part of something like this really like transcends this because we come from so many different backgrounds, so many different ethnicities and religions, but that doesn't stop us from singing together as one. The involvement of young people has always been a part of the mission of Arts and Faith St. Louis. It's become an integral part of what Arts and Faith is about. This is our future, and it's going to be a good future when young people are coming together to share. Batya Abramson Goldstein is the former executive director of the Jewish Community Relations Council. She was one of the founders of the very first interfaith concert. The idea for the concert came about after a controversial production of The Death of Klinghoffer by Opera Theater of St. Louis. The opera is about a terrorist hijacking of a cruise ship and the murder of a wheelchair-bound Jewish man. In many other cities, the production sparked protests and cancellations. In St. Louis, a series of community conversations about the opera led to the idea for a commemorative concert on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. And there was the sense that the performers on the stage, the audience, uh, they were as one. There was a sense of coming together. All this made for uh, a, a invaluable uh, addition to um, our St. Louis community. This year's concert is comprised of encore performances by Muslim, Jewish, Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, and Sikh ensembles, plus the two new performances. The different faith groups who perform, I love hearing them talk about what their songs mean, or here's an instrument we're playing for this. Here's what color we wear when we sing this. I love that. And over the years I have found that there are so many more similarities 
in our lives than differences. The concert premieres on September 12th at 4 p.m. on hecmedia.org, artsandfaithstlouis.org, and on the Arts and Faith YouTube channel. After that, stream at any time at hecmedia.org.